What is going on, YouTube? This is TP Tiger, and I'm bringing you episode three of the Gears of War uh, three series. This is gameplay from the beta. The map is Checkout, playing some TDM, and this was my third game of the beta. Absolute third game. So, uh, first episode and second. This is all in a row. So. I'm just bringing you guys some Gears of War content. I'm not sure how the score is, once again, just like the other three, but... Today I'm going to talk about some of the problems now with the uh, Gears of War 3 beta, and there's not that many. I know I'm going to sound like a hypocrite because I said this game was absolutely perfect, but your first impressions are always not true when you think about stuff. So, um, first thing is first. The beta is great. The connection is mostly good. A lot of people said the dedicated servers were not turned on, but uh, I still couldn't tell today, Monday, if they were on or not. Uh, connection was still absolutely fine. Um, my first big problem with this game is the sawed off shotgun. It is way too powerful to be a starting weapon, way too powerful. And hopefully, I'm hoping it's just going to be a map variant weapon, or it'll just be like, have its own spawn on the map. Cause if you're able to start off with that weapon, it's ridiculous. I myself, and I'm being completely honest, am not good with that weapon. I just cannot, I can't find the right way to use it. And I've tried staying back and everything, but I mean, I'm just a Kanashi player. I can't take the thought off. But, um, a lot of people that have used the thought off, I mean, they either love it or hate it. I myself hate it because it is way overpowered and I'm not good with it, but if you get a player that is actually good with the thought off, that could be so unfair, it's just not even funny. I mean, it's just it's stupid how like good the weapon is. And, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous to be honest. The weapon is not supposed to be that good. Second problem I have with this game, the Retro Lancer is fucking ridiculous as well. People don't realize how good this weapon is, and it is, I actually, it could, it could be up there with the stuff. It is really, really good. And, uh, we won around one, but the Retro Lancer, first thing you can do is charge it, and you can come sprinting at somebody, and you either get an automatic kill towards when, and then you just throw them on the ground, it's an auto kill if you pick up enough momentum, or you could poke them, you pretty much hit off them, deal them half damage and then you just press the B button after and it's melee. You just get a melee attack after you just run into them. It's an automatic down. And then if you're medium to close range to somebody with a retro answer, fucking forget it. There's absolutely no way in hell, no way in hell you're going to be able to survive. Only way that that weapon is not dangerous is from long range and even that is a statement that I could easily be incorrect about. Um, third problem with the game is, I know this is going to sound a little ridiculous, but in Gears of War 2, everybody complained about this, uh, the shotgun being a fucking sniper, pretty much. Well, in this game, the shotgun is pretty much an auto one kill. And I like that, but you need to have just a little bit more health, I think, to you know? Because, uh, I mean, maybe it's just me, but I mean, I feel like... It's just, I mean, it is just a beta too, and nothing's official, but, I mean, I feel like you need just a little bit more help on your, on your, uh, character. What else is there? Incinerary grenades are pretty much fucking useless unless you can hit somebody directly with them. Um, what other weapons? The sniper is still good for the most part. I've only had maybe one or two shots where it hits clear off their head and it doesn't register. But for the most part, the sniper has been pretty consistent. I'd say pretty good. Um, let's see. Matchmaking, it's uh, pretty good. Everything's good, you know. Uh, what else is there? Ranking system, it feels like it takes a little bit too long to rank up, but maybe that's just beta ranking. I'm not sure. But uh, I think if they have the Gears 2 ranking system, or maybe even a Call of Duty based ranking system with a Prestige, which I heard they do have, that'd be nice. Um, it definitely keeps veterans like myself playing this game a lot more because that's what kind of bored me on Gears 2 is when I reach level 100 legitly, I mean, I had nothing to do. 
I literally just, you know, I played the game just for the leaderboards, and that was pretty much it. Gears 1, I only played for the leaderboards, and I played the shit out of that game too. You know, I've been around the blocks for a while, and I'd love to see a prestige system. I'd stay interested. Um, what else can we talk about? Yeah, I'm just mainly focusing on the negatives, the, the stuff I don't personally find that are working in that great. I mean, obviously, I've, the first two episodes of this Gears of War 3 series, I've praised the game, so I have to just be a little realistic now, and the stuff that annoys me, or stuff that I think needs to be changed. Um, the maps, check out, it's pretty nice. Um, not much, too much you can really complain about this map, it's pretty basic standard. Thrash Ball is okay, it could really use a little bit more uh, weapons if you if you could. I mean, a digital launcher and torque ball aren't that fun. That map kind of looks like it needs a sniper with that one, uh, if you can go up top and stuff. It just looks like there should be a sniper there. Um, Old Town is a good map, a lot of you people haven't played that because the beta just came out, but you'll get a chance to see it. And trenches is all right. There's nothing too special about that one, but it is. It has some pretty cool scenery and effects that take place. So I mean, the maps are pretty fun. They, they're well polished and they're very nice. I have to say. Um, what else is there? Uh, not like I said. There's not that much. I mean. I can't really think of all that much that annoys me besides the start off being the most ridiculous gun. Granted, it does take a long time to reload, but I, another thing the gun does, which a lot of people don't realize, it, it promotes camping. People, you, nine times out of ten, people are going to sit back with the, the start off and let you come to them. Uh, that other one percent, you'll ever rarely see somebody rushing you with a shot, a sawed off. So, I mean, it's a very rare thing to happen, but. It's a, uh, it promotes camping. People are going to stay back and they're going to want to, uh, you know, they're going to fucking want to have that shit. And, yeah, I can hear what happens. Uh -huh. But they're going to sit back, camp, do the same old shit. And the retro answer, I, is just fucking stupid. Only, oh yeah, and the only other problem with this game is, Frags thrown, they explode faster than they are triggered, or like they make the making sounds and stuff. And the chainsaw still has a little bit of a vacuum effect to it, but I mean, aside from that, this game is like a, like a 9 out of 10. It's pretty, pretty fucking damn good. But uh, that's the end of the game. Team falls up short. I go 7 and 7. Awful game on my part. Very, actually, very bad game. But uh, yeah, subscribe.